nine cloud-based uh, CCAS uh, provider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 5.9 just announced I think this week its intent to acquire ACIUS, um, which is a data integration and analytics, I, I guess software. I, I, I want to call it a platform, but I guess probably you wouldn't call it a platform. Um, so they, what they do is they ingest data from all different data sources, and they're already a partner of 5.9. So what they will do is allow businesses to transition more smoothly from legacy systems onto 5.9's platform, especially as AI is, you know, kind of more incorporated into the 5.9 platform for like the, you know, customer analytics and everything. That's really important that all of, the, all of these data sources being pulled from different places doesn't become siloed. And I think, you know, they talked about in the press release, like their large scale cloud migrations, making it faster, more seamless. Um, so it sounds like they've been a partner for a while. And so now it's just, they're making them, bringing them in. And I, I believe all of their employees are, again, like like the last um, acquisition we talked about, all of the employees are now part of, um, or will be now, I think it's expected to close by the end of the third quarter. Um, they will also be a part of 5.9. So 5.9 is growing. I mean, that, Okay. Yeah, they're definitely growing. Um, I had relationships uh, with the CEO and the CMO who have are all already departed. So it's hard for me to get a read on this. I have not met their new senior leadership uh, team. But if I just looked on, on a product and service basis, it makes sense, right? Asaius is, uh, they have the Asaius platform. And I'm just going to read it right from the website. Context Center Reporting and Analytics Dashboard designed to help businesses become more efficient and effective across all channels of communications uh, with customers. And this looks like a, a fast track to uh, add these capabilities to their, their services very quickly and mm -hmm. also maybe uh, get this out of the hands of a competitor. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine that. Did, did they mention the size of the deal by chance? Don't believe so. Okay. Um, or, um, you know, is this, this this strikes me as a uh, maybe a uh, a smaller uh, a smaller company. So we'll see. Maybe it's not going to need regulatory approval. But yeah, I don't think so. I think it was like eighty employees that um, they mentioned would come along with the deal. That's great. Yeah, maybe it was Aquahire. Who knows? We'll see uh, later. They definitely have the technology, and with. I think the biggest focus was kind of the the technology and part of their sort of automated system for kind of self serve customer service can you know that five nine um, employees. So yeah, I don't think it was like a you know some big huge thing that's going to get blocked or anything. 